Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie, and this week we're going to talk about Cockneys vs. Zombies from 2012. Just came out, I'm looking at it on IMDb, and it's getting, and this this should tell you where this is going, it's, it got 6.3 stars out of 10 from 929 users, which is pretty impressive considering it's IMDb and it's a fucking zombie film. I enjoyed this film immensely. I didn't know what to think when I when I got it, but I started watching, and the, the beginning credits let me know that this was going to be a fast-paced film. The song was really good. I really enjoyed the music and the intro and the, the menus and just the way the titling was done. It was, it was entertaining. It was cartoony, but it was kind of like that... Uh that weird posterized kind of look and i really 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 like the intro and i'm like all right this is probably going to be good so i was in a good mood starting it out as per usual when i like something i'm not going to trash it and this just came out so the very brief synopsis is a couple of losers I hate to call them losers but they kind of are they're in their 20s and have nothing going on they're delivering meals on wheels they have concocted a plan to save the old folks home their grandfather runs because it's being bought out by a development company. They're going to rob a bank. And they've put together a cast of... <laughs> it's kind of like the misfit. It's... Imagine... <laughs> imagine Ocean's Eleven. If it was just a bunch of dumbasses that you used to get high with. It would be the same kind of group. But, but there's no drugs or anything. It's just... People you could never rely on, save maybe one or two. They put together a group of misfits to go rob a bank to come up with the money to save their grandfather, who really thinks they're just a couple of assholes, but they care about him. And they and these guys are kind of, they're underprivileged. They didn't have their parents for most of their lives. They've had to kind of scrape by. So everything goes wrong, as you can well imagine. I think the trailer would even demonstrate that. Everything goes wrong, and in the middle of their bank robbery, the zombie apocalypse happens. And it's kind of interesting the way they bring the zombie apocalypse on. The special effects in this film, it kind of varied. There were uh, there was a lot of CGI blood flares that were, they were okay, but it was pretty obvious. But there was some fucked up scenes in this. Uh, the trailer, since I, this isn't really a giveaway... You see someone getting shot with a shotgun in a van that has an open back door, and they go flying out and just fucking flip on their own head. And um, I watched it three times. I went, whoa, and rewound, whoa. It was like Groundhog's Day. I had to keep watching this shit. It was, it was, I was like, this is really good. It's the story of the two brothers and their cousin and a couple of other misfits they put together trying to do right by doing wrong, trying to serve the greater good, trying to save their grandfather, robbing the bank, having the zombie apocalypse. And now it kind of shifts to, well, London is in fucking flames. It's like it's like the Blitz. So how do we get to our grandfather and save him? And it's easy to think, well, you know what? It's made in London, so this is going to be Shaun of the Dead. Not really. Uh, some of the scenery took me back to Shaun of the Dead. This movie is clever. This is funny in a lot of places. But it's also kind of touching in a few places that Shaun of the Dead never really touched on. This had a bit of everything. It was fast-paced. It was fast-paced with slow zombies. There's nobody running in this except our heroes. And they do become our heroes. Unlike a lot of movies I've seen lately, we come to care about these people fairly quickly. And we really like them. So... I'm just, I'm so stoked when I can say that, and I was talking to Mick Pierce about this the other day, and I'm like, man, I really like, I'm, I'm so easy to please when it comes from being over the pond. I like films that are made in Europe. I really enjoy British films. I really enjoy films made of Ireland. You know what I mean? Just, I really enjoy films from Australia. Something about American films has really just been putting me to sleep lately, and, and I think most of us can agree, Hollywood is fucking out of ideas, out of ideas. So when good things come from out of uh, out of America, I, I'm definitely onto it. I don't mind subtitles, but this is in perfect English, and you'll certainly understand. Leave it to the British to write some great shit. I'm going to give one little spoiler away because I plan to use this. Um, the grandfather, who doesn't like to be called granddad because it makes him sound old, and he's a bad motherfucker, by the way, he actually tells his grandson, at one point, and I'm quoting, I've got it here, I wrote it down because I'm going to try to memorize this. If you ever do that again, I'll knock seven shades of shit out of both of you. Seven shades of shit out of both of you. I, I fucking just was laughing. This is great. And the comedy, a lot of it might be just because I'm, if a British guy is saying stupid shit, I'll, I'll take him more serious because he's got the accent. But uh, <laughs> a lot of this was good, honest comedy. So it is a battle and a journey. This is not only funny, full of action. It's kind of touching, and you find yourself just cheering for these guys and all the crazy shit they do. And um, and you will recognize some faces. I recognize Alan Ford and a few others. But it is the story of the McGuire family. <laughs> 
and how they deal with the zombie apocalypse. This, uh, and I'm just going to cut it here. I, I don't want to say any more about it aside from on the Brodinsky scale of the buy it, buy it, or buy it scale. This is a buy it, and I'm adjusting the scale um, because of the euro, the pound, and liter. I don't know, but the buy it on the Brodinsky scale is worth like eight liters of petrol, whatever that is, petrol. <laughs> and those motherfuckers, and like you know, in Europe, some places they're paying like we piss them out of our gas prices. They're paying like twenty dollars, twenty five dollars a gallon. If you want to do the conversion, so fuck that. This film was very entertaining, uh, so I would definitely rate this a buy. You borrow for every every horror fan a buy for zombie fans. It was that good. It really was. This was probably the most entertaining, uh, most entertaining zombie film I've seen since The Dead, which was a fucking amazing film. Uh, this was a ama- this wasn't amazing, but it was highly highly entertaining. If you liked Shaun of the Dead, you'll love this film. If you like good zombie uh, killing, you'll love this film as well. You don't have to be a fan of Brit uh, horror or Brit comedy to get this. It translates very well just about anywhere. And just to watch these old senior citizens fuck zombies up was really good. Really good. So that's all I've got. What else am I going to say? Watch this fucking film. You're going to love it. And I know I did. Uh, Cockneys vs. Zombies 2012. I'm looking at a picture of the DVD box. So um, you can hop on Amazon. You can hop on eBay. You can go to your favorite horror specialty retailer, I'm assuming, and pick it up. Um, Yeah, it was that good. You're going to love it. Cockneys vs. Zombies. Check it out. And we will see you next week.